My name is Lori Hammer and I'm an arts-based researcher here on Simshin Territory working with the North Coast Innovation Lab. I've partnered with a group called the Changemakers Education Society and we're working on the Raven Tales Storytelling Project. We bring together youth to talk about and express ourselves through art on reconciliation. The Raven Tales Storytelling Project works toward resiliency in the community because it allows us to hear the voices of youth. It allows us to hear voices that aren't often heard, and it allows us to envision a new way or different ways of seeing how we can get along together and work together to be a stronger community. Oh, okay, yeah. Having Lori with us, she's brought a different kind of creativity to the table. A couple of the programs she set up, there was the possibility to develop creative skills for our youth and that was online. She also helped us develop relationships in the community and build on those relationships. She came up with some great art projects and ideas that we hadn't thought of before. You know, we hadn't even thought they were a possibility because it was a big ask from the city, that kind of thing. So definitely brought those skills to the table that we hadn't even considered. back in the water. It gets broken down as a little leaf thinking, ah, that didn't work. <laughs> I gotta figure a better way. On Saturday at the Creative Storm Outdoor Art Show, uh, you'll be able to see figurines that have been constructed of paper mache uh, that relate to uh, culturally important things that the youth decided we wanted to see. We'll see a lot of painting on rocks uh, that will express different ideas in the show. We also have uh, some beautiful cedar bracelets and talismans that one of our youth have created um, as gifts as a part of the exhibition. I see lots of opportunities coming out of this project that will encourage people to use art as a voice, uh, to discover ways to get ideas across that may not be very simple. They're complex ideas, complex feelings, and when you use art to communicate that, uh, you can get a lot out of it and from it. The past three years, the North Coast Innovation Lab have partnered with seven community organizations and businesses and supported 11 master's students working as project coordinators on social innovation initiatives based in Prince Rupert. This work would not be possible without the generous support of our funding partners, namely the Vancouver Foundation, the Government of British Columbia's Rural Dividend Program, the Kerner Foundation, the McConnell Foundation, my Tax Canada and the City of Prince Rupert. Thank you.